గవర్నమెంట్ ఆఫ్ తెలంగాణ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ స్కూల్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ సమగ్ర శిక్ష సిద్దిపేట డిస్టిక్ విద్యామిత్ర యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ డిజిటల్ లెసన్స్ ఫర్ టెన్త్ క్లాస్ ఫిజికల్ సైన్స్ క్లాసిఫికేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఎలిమెంట్స్ టు పీరియాడిక్ టేబుల్ చాప్టర్ టాపిక్ అయినైజేషన్ ఎనర్జీ ప్రజెంటర్ కొంకం శంకరయ్య పిజిటి కెమిస్ట్రీ టిఎస్ఎంఎస్ కొండపాక్ సిద్ధిపేట డిస్టిక్ లెర్నింగ్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్స్ ఫర్ దిస్ టాపిక్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఆర్ ఏబుల్ టు డిఫైన్ ద టర్మ్ అయినైజేషన్ ఎనర్జీ ఆర్ ఏబుల్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ అండ్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ద ట్రెండ్స్ ఇన్ అయినైజేషన్ ఎనర్జీ అక్రాస్ పీరియడ్స్ అండ్ డౌన్ ద గ్రూప్స్ students are able to analyze the factors that affect ionization energy and give reason for abnormal trends in ionization energy of different atoms so what is ionization energy so ionization energy is a quantitative measure of tendency of elements to lose electrons this ionization energy can be defined as the energy required to remove an electron from the outermost orbit or shell of a neutral gaseous atom is called ionization energy here x is an atom which is in gaseous state by providing the minimum energy to required to remove an electron from x atom so one electron lost from x atom that will become x plus cation which is also in gaseous state this ionization energy is expressed in kilojoules per mole units for example if we take a potassium element as our example so potassium atomic number is 19 and its electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s1 so 19 electrons are present in this potassium n equal to 1 first shell two electron surface n equal to 2 second shell eight electron surface n equal to 3 third shell eight electron surface n equal to 4 fourth shell one electron is present the red one potassium nucleus the entire positive charge of the atom present in the nucleus and this green dots are electrons the outermost shell in an atom is known as valence shell so this picture explains about distribution of electrons in various shells of potassium atom so as moving far from the nucleus the principal quantum number value increases that means the energy of the shell increases nucleus has positive charge and electrons has negative charge there is electrostatic attraction force between the nucleus and the electrons in various energy shells the electrons held by the nuclear attraction force so as the nuclear attraction force increases the electrons attracting towards the nucleus increases now we will discuss the first ionization energy this is the energy required to remove the first electron 
from the outermost shell of a neutral gaseous atom of an element is called its first ionization energy so from its valence shell removal of a first electron how much energy is required that energy is known as first ionization energy so x is a element which is in gaseous state this element is in a neutral so from the x element atom one electron is removed by providing a minimum amount of energy that energy is known as first ionization energy indicated as ie1 so x plus cation is formed by loss of one electron the second ionization energy ie2 energy required to remove an electron from uni positive ion of the element is called the second ionization energy of the element from uni positive ion x plus the cation is also in gaseous state by providing some minimum amount of energy one more electron can be removed and that leads to formation of x plus 2 cation by the loss of one electron this is known whereas ie1 is first ionization energy and ie2 is second ionization energy iu2 is always greater than ie1 the ionization energy of an element depends on several factors ionization energy explanation very simple example to explain the ionization energy the simplest uh, atom from first group sodium atom its atomic number is 11 it consisting of 11 electrons these 11 electrons are distributed in various atomic orbitals various atomic orbitals within the sodium atom the electronic configuration of sodium atom is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 here n equal to 1 first shell n equal to 2 second shell n equal to 3 third shell in first shell two electrons in 1s2 orbital in second shell 2s2 2p6 eight electrons are present in third shell 3s1 your outermost shell is n equal to 3 third shell it consisting of one electron total 11 electrons are present in sodium atom this is electron distribution in this sodium atom s orbital and p orbitals are present in the valence shell the outermost shell of an atom is known as valence shell in valence shell one electron is present so in inner orbitals valence shell one electron is present in inner orbitals 10 electrons are present in first shell two electrons and in second shell eight electrons total of 10 electrons are present in inner orbitals the valence shell 3s1 orbital is there 3s orbital is there in that one electron is present the forces acting on sodium atom so each and every atom consisting of its nucleus in the nucleus the positive charge entire positive charge is present and electrons are distributed in various atomic orbitals here in sodium atom 11 protons are present which are present in the nucleus these are having positive charge so this positive charge acting as nuclear attraction force the electrons in various atomic orbitals are attracted by the nucleus of sodium atom as moving far away from the nucleus as moving far away from the nucleus the nuclear attraction force decreases effective nuclear charge decreases because the inner electrons present in the atom screens 
the nuclear charge reduces the nuclear charge so that as moving far away from the nucleus the nuclear attraction force on the valence shell electrons decreases the electrons are held by the nuclear attraction force and the inner electrons also creates inter electronic repulsions so because of inter electronic repulsions and less effective nuclear charge on valence shell electrons the valence shells are very loosely bound to the nucleus so that it is very easy to remove electron from the valence shell when compared to electrons in inner shells or core shells of the atom this valence shell is having uh, less nuclear attraction forces when compared to first shell and the second shell and the electrons in the first and second shell are create inter electronic repulsive forces and these electrons may effectively reduce the effective nuclear charge which felt on outermost shell of an atom so ionization energy the definition we know that the energy required to remove an electron from outermost shell of an atom so for this typical example sodium atom 496 kilojoules per mole it is the minimum energy required to remove an electron from 3s orbital of sodium atom so this energy is sufficient to overcome nuclear attractions on valence shell 3s orbital so that the electron can be removed by removing of one electron from valence shell of electron valence shell of sodium atom that leads to formation of sodium cation by loss of electrons atoms are converted into cations the valence 3s1 electron is lost that makes sodium atom into sodium plus cation sodium plus cation here when you compare sodium atom and sodium plus cation sodium atom consisting of three shells for n equal to 1 n equal to 2 n equal to 3 the electrons are distributed in these three shells but in sodium cation only two shells are there n equal to 1 n equal to 2 by loss of one electron here the positive charge from the nucleus 11 units and uh, the electrons and negative charge is 10 units only so that the positive charge dominates over the electronic negative charge that's why the effective nuclear charge acting on valence shell of a cation is always very much greater than the effective nuclear charge acting on valence shell of a neutral atom so here by loss of one electron the atomic radius of sodium atom decreased decreased so when the size decreases the outermost shell becomes very close to nucleus that is also makes more attraction effective nuclear attraction force on outermost electrons this is also uh, supports for the energy required to remove further one more electron that means here the energy required to remove an electron from outermost shell of a neutral atom which is in gaseous state is always less than energy required to remove an electron from an uni positive ion because the ion size is less and on valence shell of ions the effective nuclear charge value is always greater than its corresponding neutral atom because of these two reasons the second ionization energy is always greater than the first ionization energy now we will discuss 
the factors which affects the ionization of energy ionization energy of an element depends on five different factors we will discuss precisely the first one is nuclear charge Our ionization energy is always directly proportional to nuclear charge if nuclear charge increased the ionization energy value is also increased because the nuclear charge is the positive charge present in the nucleus this is responsible for holding of electrons in the atom if the charge positive charge increases the attraction from the nucleus increases that makes more energy required to remove an electron from its outermost shell so nuclear charge and ionization energy both are directly proportional to each other for example so sodium first ionization energy is very very less than chlorine both are belongs to same period third period in the periodic table but sodium atomic consist atom consisting of 11 units of positive charge and potassium sorry chlorine consisting of 17 units so that here nuclear charge increased from 11 to 17 that makes chlorine ionization energy is very much greater than sodium ionization energy the second one is screening effect or shielding effect in atom there are various shells are present the inner shells are filled with electrons these electrons present between the valence shell and the nucleus they act as screens and decrease nuclear attraction over valence electrons this is called screening effect so screening effect decreases effective nuclear charge which is felt on outermost shell of an atom so if this effective nuclear charge decreased means the energy required to remove that electron is also decreases that means ionization energy decreases so we can say that the screening or shielding effect is always inversely proportional to the ionization energy and vice versa ionization energy is inversely proportional to screening or shielding effect of an element the next factor which influences the ionization energy is penetration power or piercing power of an orbital orbitals belongs to the same main shell have different piercing power towards the nucleus for example horus orbital is having highest piercing power than 4p than 4d than 4f in the penetration here yeah, the orbitals are having different shapes s orbital is having spherical shape so the spherical shape is surrounded by the nucleus so that very close to nucleus the electrons present in the s orbital are having high tendency to penetrate towards the nucleus that means on s orbitals the greater nuclear attraction force present so it is difficult to remove an electron when s orbital and p orbital both are having electrons preferentially the electron loss will takes place in p orbital it is slightly diffused than s orbital in similar way if 4s 4p 4d 4f 4 orbitals are present in a shell the electron preferentially removed from 4f orbital because of less piercing power piercing power is always directly proportional to ionization energy we can say that ionization energy directly proportional to penetration power of an orbital the next factor stable electronic configuration stable electronic configuration it is easier to remove one electron 
from partially filled orbital than off filled or full filled orbitals the off filled full filled orbitals are having more stability than partially filled more stable means the energy is less so the pay fulfilled orbitals the electrons are paid and uh, off filled orbitals are having high symmetrical distribution of electrons and exchange energy is associated with that so that these are very stable so to remove electron from this off filled and fulfilled electronic configuration slightly more energy is required that means ionization energy is more for stable electronic configuration containing elements for example the first ionization energy of nitrogen is greater than the first ionization energy of oxygen nitrogen electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p3 of filled configuration in p orbital and electronic configuration of oxygen is 1s2 2s2 2p4 partially filled configuration of oxygen by loss of one electron it is getting off filled configuration so that electron can easily removed with less energy so the ie one of nitrogen is greater than ie one of oxygen atomic radius atomic radius means the distance from the nucleus to outermost shell of an atom is known as its radius as atomic radius increases the effective nuclear charge present on valence shell decreases that means ionization energy inversely proportional to atomic radius atomic radius so ionization energy trends in various groups and periods we will discuss the ionization energy increases from left to right of a period in a period the atomic radius decreases from left to right uh, if you take the second period that consisting of lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine neon so atom size of lithium 152 picometers beryllium 111 picometers boron 88 picometers carbon 77 picometers nitrogen 74 picometers oxygen 66 picometers fluorine 64 picometers the size is gradually decreasing whereas atomic radius decreases ionization energy gradually increases here the ionization energy gradually increased from lithium to neon this is the trend of ionization energy in a period from left to right ionization energy increases so in this two exceptions has found here the ionization energy of boron is less than beryllium and the ionization energy of first ionization energy of oxygen is less than nitrogen the reason we discussed for this is stable electronic configuration and here also beryllium electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 whereas boron electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p1 2p p1 is the partial fill electronic configuration and uh, here in uh, beryllium s orbital 2s orbital completely filled and s orbital having high piercing power here p in boron partially filled electronic configuration one reason and uh, p orbital is having less piercing power than s so because of these two reasons there is slight decrease in first ionization energy of boron is less than beryllium the ionization energy decreases from top to bottom of a group in a group the ionization energy value gradually decreases because in a group one element to other element descending in a group the number of shells increases as number of shells increases atomic radius increases atomic radius increases 
effective nuclear charge on valence shell electrons decreases that makes ionization energy value decreases here lithium to sodium ionization energy gradually decreases sodium to potassium rubidium and cesium ionization lithium 520 kilojoules per mole sodium 496 kilojoules per mole gradually the value decreases descending in a group the ionization energy value decreases as ionization energy value decreases the chemical reactivity of element increases for metals one s first a group metals the overall trends of ionization energy across the periodic table all the elements and uh, here in a period extreme right side element are having highest ionization energy so helium neon organ krypton xenon radon these are present in 18 group uh, experiencing very high ionization energy and uh, in a period extreme right side elements are having very less ionization energy and uh, in a period from left to right ionization energy value increases in the periodic table the ionization energy trends from top to bottom ionization energy decreases in group that means from bottom to top ionization energy value increases in a period from left to right ionization value increases that means lithium to neon ionization energy increases so from left to bottom to right to top of periodic table in this direction ionization energy value increases thank you this is about ionization energy